Okay, fellas, here is the DeWalt DW7187 laser, and I'm going to show you how to calibrate it today. The, the saw needs to be plugged in uh, for this particular activity. So, therefore, the trigger pin lock, which is normally over in this area of the laser power housing unit, comes out, goes in the trigger, okay? Which means it cannot be activated. This is a safety mechanism. It's the most important thing you're going to do today. Okay, second, we're going to take out the hex wrench that is also in the power unit for the laser. And since I already plugged in the saw, we're going to turn on the laser right here to toggle. Okay, we're going to now look at the laser up close and personal. Okay, good. Now right now you can only see two of the three adjusting points. The front adjusting point is here. This diagram with the red lines tells you what this corrects. There's a second adjusting point up in here, in this area, right here as a matter of fact. This diagram, the red lines tell you the arc that you must correct to make uh, plumb. Okay, now we'll take a quick look at that. Okay, and there it is. That's the adjustment right there. Okay, now we're going to backtrack. And we're going to take a look at the side of the saw. Come in a little closer. And you're going to see the adjustment here. And this red, this red line in this diagram tells you what this adjustment adjusts on the laser. We're going to go back now and uh, try to explain these in some type of order. Okay, the first adjustment, which is here, the front adjustment, as you can see, this shows that the laser is off of the center line, so what it's showing is that the laser is not perpendicular to the fence, and it's not parallel to the slit in the table, okay? And by slit in the table, we're going to come down and I'm going to show you right here. This is exactly where the blade travels into during a cut, okay? So you need your laser line, which is here, it travels all the way down to here and it I don't know let's see if we can see that it's barely visible on my hand right now okay so we need to adjust that first in my opinion the second adjustment would be the top adjustment and that's right here okay this here shows that the laser is what I call out of plumb, meaning that the laser should shine straight down and essentially be parallel with the slit in the base of the table here. In fact, if you're cutting, if you made your calibrations correctly and you look straight down into here, you can see 
the laser line that's present. A little difficult to show now. Okay, so you've corrected for a left and a right. You've corrected for something that's out of plumb. And the last thing you want to do is now we're going to go back to the side to show you that this, mechan this adjustment screw here, and if you look at the red lines, you'll see that this adjusts on which side of the kerf of the blade. In other words, on which side of the blade, which side of the saw, that the laser shines down on. Now, the only way to explain this or t is by showing you. In other words, I have my saw set up so that I am adjusted so that my laser is on the left side of this plane right here, of this slot. Now, I can prove that simply by going like this. As soon as I touch the saw, just around the cutting edge, keeping in mind that the trigger lock mechanism is in place, okay you can see the red line of the laser okay now let's go around to the other side okay here is the right side there's absolutely nothing okay so my saw is set up for the left side. So what that means is when I cut right now you can see it's faint because of the lighting but you can see the laser on the wood. When I bring down my saw blade you can see that the kerf of the saw is just to the right of the laser. For me this is perfectly set up. I just need to make a mark without using a carpenter square and measuring the top and wrapping around because again if I stand this up if you have tall stock like 4x4 or 6x6 you can see that the laser wraps around and when it meets the wood you can see that as you cut it will go straight down alright I'm gonna this is part one I'm going to do another video or two on this to uh, highlight some of the features uh, that are important however I covered all the basics and I hope you enjoy it thank you very much have a great day